Welcome to another edition of this video may not be for you. My name is Purcell and man, I'm finally finished with the product and I'll tell you uh, some of the things I'm proud of and some of the things that I kind of missed and, and in retrospect, I will fix after this video if you want to see it. But just to get into this uh, particular video, I spent six hours on the car yesterday and another hour on this uh, car today. And what happened was basically, I only do this one time a year. And it's coming into the springtime, although it's really chilly, I think our temperatures dropped about 20 degrees since yesterday. But, and it's quite windy too as well. So what I did uh, yesterday was I sprayed iron X on the cars and decontaminated. I took that and I rubbed it in and then I washed it off and then I clay bar, uh, had some clay bar uh, lubricant, sprayed the car down with clay bar, rubbed it in like with silly putty and uh, then I washed that off and then I washed the car doing, using the two bucket method with the rinse bucket and the wash bucket, dried it off and then I waxed the car, took the wax off and then I sealed the car with a Wolfgang's uh, sealant. I let the car sit in the garage overnight and I got up uh, this morning very stiff and I finally got myself together to come out this afternoon and remove the, the sealant. The sealant was actually the most easiest thing to do because the sealant is very light, so you don't have to really do a lot of rubbing and removing of the um, sealant. However, you do have to go over the car a couple of times because, because it's so light, it's uh, very hard to see, especially on this car. I just wanna draw the attention to uh, the shine on this car now. If you think the car was shiny yesterday, uh, congratulations, uh, you just passed the eye test, it's shiny today. <laughs> But uh, I think uh, in all, you can see how shiny it is just looking at the reflection on the door, uh, looking out uh, to, to my neighbor's yard there. So basically, uh, I cleaned the car from top to bottom, did the wheels, redid the wheels. Uh, as far as, I'm not gonna get in front of that, let's walk this way. Um, I did the uh, wheels and I did the tire dressing and I use a vinyl tire, tire dressing. Matter of fact, I can use that same vinyl tire dressing inside my floor mats. Also too, I wanna to point out just the detail. Uh, I also get up under here and I use tire dressing all the way down. On the on the Model 70, um, the Tesla, we have this uh, black um, piece of, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's just, just plastic actually. It kinda of goes all around the car. So I try to keep that in mind when I definitely get my tires clean and then we got a little black piece back here if you have the latest edition from 2016 on board you don't have this so you get to wash it all the way down but i have it in the back so i try to keep that in mind again looking at the back i did a uh this chrome piece on the lighted applique and that tesla t which is serves as my brake light i put some chrome killer on that car and that really on, on the chrome and it really came out really really well you see how bright and sharp that is i mean that is that is really really good and then looking back on the car again this way see again uh, how shiny it is now some of the things that i am a little frustrated uh, that i found out early this morning is my wheel actually didn't get as clean as i like like it to uh, it left uh, some water spots on the wheel i had to clean that off and I'm still working on those wheels. I am not the greatest guy when it comes to getting the windows correctly the way I want them. Maybe because I was tired, I got in the car this, this evening or this afternoon and the windows didn't look good. So I had to go behind and uh, get the windows again. I had to get the side mirrors. But overall, long process, but I'm very proud of it. Now, the next time I come out to clean this car, all I'm gonna do is just basically use a quick detailer. I'm not gonna re-wax it. Not going to do anything. I'm just use a quick dealer detailer because one, I only drive this car primarily on the weekends, doing sunny days. I keep a garage, and again, I compete my car at uh, various car shows in and around the DMV, as we call it, DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. So that is it for now. Thank you for watching. And again, all this work might not be for you, but I really enjoy doing it. See you on the next episode.